tragic that these lives are gone. Or Rachel and Ria and we're the Gala sisters. We're actually Irish twins. Yeah, which means we're 15 months apart or less. Yes, for all you diehard Gala sister fans, we are still Sans MCK. We don't have any information on who we're back. If you want to know, maybe you should talk to him if you can. <laughs> Yes, this is a heavy video today, but before we get started, please make sure you are following us on social media scrolling below. As well as linked in the description box down below where you will also find MCK's channel. Please subscribe to his channel and tell him the Gala Sisters sent you. Yes. We also built our own website with three different blogs and our bios. You can find that at www.thegalasisters.com and if you'd like to stay involved and informed for free, then click that big old subscribe button. And with that, we'll let's take, take a look. look. We got confirmation within an hour that there had been a loud bang at the same time that the sub was, that comms were lost. At the implosion of the Titan. We talked about the mission that the Titan went on in this video. Please watch that video first. This isn't going to make any sense if you haven't seen it. Mm, so we're sad to say, I'm sure that most of you already know this, but we're sad to say that the Titan has been lost. They found bits and pieces of the hull around the wreckage of the Titanic on the bottom of the ocean floor. And they believe that the Titan imploded and then exploded. Some of the memes I thought that were really funny. Like the people like clapping for them, like all the Titanic movie or like the Jack one where he was like extending his hand to them. It was really funny. It was kind of funny. Um, I, I very laughed. dark, we like dark humor. Um, it's tragic that these lives are gone. Our condolences go out to their families and loved ones that are left behind. Um, however, you know, it was a very stupid decision to go and on. Yep, the cat agrees. Damien agrees. He <laughs> I know. He's all about it. He is telling me all about it. It's very tragic. Um, it's, it's a sad way to go. You know, they thought they were having fun. Yeah, and one of them was just a kid, um, actually not much older than the gal daughter, and that was hard. And apparently his mother said that this kid did not want to go. He was scared to go. He was only going because his dad wanted him to go, and it did not end well. So, you know, that's why we have regulations in place. That's why we have people that do these inspections. Yeah, and this just wasn't 100% safe. Uh, this is part of why I would probably never do something like this. No, I, I don't uh, the only I submarine that I, we've ever been on is the ride at Walt Disney World when we were like three and four years old. That's the only time I'll ever go on a submarine because you know it was just a little bit underwater and it was fun, but it was literally like we'll ever do that. Yeah, so James Cameron, you know, the creator of Titanic. Mm -hmm. Lee. He has been to the actual Titanic wreckage 33 times. Now he went on a submarine that has been inspected and has made it back in the, their back and forth totally fine. Um, so they can do it. It's expensive. It's not easy to do. But he had some words to say on this. And he explained that as someone who's made this track many times, and actually is known for going to the deepest part of the ocean that ever that any man has ever gone to. That this was a sham of a search. A loud bang on the hydrophones. Loss of transducer or transponder. Loss of comms. I knew what happened. Sub imploded. I yeah, because there was a loud boom the moment they disappeared and they lost comms and they lost all sorts of tracking. Like they couldn't see them at all anymore. So he's like, well, the only scenario that would explain this is an implosion. So the fact that they were even doing this search and rescue was ridiculous because they were gone. It was a waste of time. It was a waste of time, money, effort, 
and things that could be better put into something else like resources like you know we only have a limited number of resources and maybe this wasn't the best way to use those resources mm -hmm. i mean i guess i acknowledge the effort maybe they might have been alive uh, it's just chances were slim to none but at least they tried. I mean, for me, I want them to come looking for me. I would. I want them to try. And I'm not going to make this about rich people versus poor people. Although, we're going to discuss a little bit of what we've seen on the internet about this. Now, we are going to cover something that I forgot to say in the last video. As someone who studied the Titanic, she was in elementary school. And you guys, I'm going to be 39 in October. I know I don't look it, but I'm going to be. Um, the... They talk about the classes of the Titanic, and that is not 100% true. So just be careful about the movie and believing that the movie is 100% true, because that is called historical fiction. Yeah, that's true. You should always take everything with a grain of salt. So they dumped all this money, millions of dollars, into searching for them. And I'm thankful we got answers. And a lot of people are outraged that we spent millions of dollars to go find millionaires who did something stupid. Oh, so is this like what happened with the Naya Rivera situation when people were upset that people disappeared and they never looked for them? Yeah, maybe. This, but here's the thing is that Chris Cuomo made a really good valid point that if we're going to start looking for places to cut money, that search and rescue programs is not where we're going to start. For instance, Congress has all these expensive meals, you know, and drinks and clothing that they write off. Maybe they don't need all Ho that shit Hotels, anymore. um, makeup, like Drunk Elephant, probably one of the most expensive brands of makeup and skincare that you could possibly ever buy. That's true. I mean, and... You, you see, like, uh, Nancy Pelosi had a fridge full of expensive ice cream or freezer, and she went down and got her hair done all the time. I mean, we do our own hair in our own kitchen. Why can't she do that? I mean, she, um, why is her job so much more important than what we do? I mean, that's just ridiculous. It's, it's absurd. It's absurd that we don't need to be paying for that for her. Pay it out of your own damn money. We don't need to do that for you. I don't want to pay for that, you know, like, for... DoorDash drivers, I don't mind if my taxes go towards helping to pay for gas for them. No, I don't mind at all. I don't mind. The sad thing about this is that two days before the Titan um, imploded in the middle of the ocean, we probably lost about 700 refugees off the coast of Greece. That's not good. And, I mean, Barack Obama spoke out about how horrible the media coverage of this was. And, I mean, the there were 700 people on this boat. And it just, it sank. And nobody cares. No. I'm not saying that the lives of the men who died on the Titan don't matter. No. I think they do. What if it all matters just equally? Like, you know, when we look at the historical records of people who died on the Titanic... We don't say, well, 1,500 people died, but what do we care about are the rich people? No. But I'm just being honest. These 700 people, most of them haven't even been found. There are 100 children on the vessel, and they're all missing. They found several dead people, but m most of them, they just don't know where they are. They're probably passed on. Probably. And the media just, oh yeah, check mark, we covered it. And the thing is, what you guys need to fucking understand is that you, the consumers, you dictate what we talk about. Because, you know, if I can make a video on this shit and if ten, it gets 10 views, like, okay. I hate to make it about that, but you guys need to watch that stuff when we do it then. And then you guys are coming after us and you're talking about how, you know, we're doing this for money. I'm sorry, what money? If you go to, let me teach you a little trick here. If you go to Social Blade, which is an actual website, you can actually look up how much YouTubers are making approximately per video. Yeah. Just an FYI. Yeah, that's true. And we're not really making anything. Maybe a couple dollars per video. So it's not just the media's fault that this hasn't gotten it's media coverage. It's the consumer's fault. It's society's fault. You guys dictate what we talk about. And 
being journalists, it's a business. It still is a business. You have to go with the flow. And if you if you go against the grain, like we do, you're not going to fly as high. Like, we can't get any of our political videos to go anywhere because I don't sit in the left or the right. I decided that, you know, I, I, I'm not left or right. It's right or wrong. I mean, Chris Cuomo, look at what happened to him when he decided to stand up for what is right and think rationally. I mean, they destroyed him. You guys ripped him to shreds. He's doing a lot better these days. Um, our good friend Chris, love you, dude. But do you see what you do? You, you, you sit here and then you complain about how the media responds. But then when we respond the way that you want us to, that you're saying and criticizing, then you cancel. They cancel us. And we get so much grief for the way that we cover things and it's just ridiculous i mean and especially as up and comers people are like how dare you try to grow your channel how dare you spread it and it's like well okay well if you're gonna come in here and then spend money on advertising go ahead otherwise you have to find free ways to do it if you don't like it then shut the fuck up just sometimes sometimes if you don't have anything nice to say what is the what's the saying shut your fucking mouth yeah i don't care your problem with how we cover things, you know what? Here's the here's the solution. Go make your own channel. Please. YouTube is hard. I love it. I absolutely do love it. But you know, in covering these tragedies, at least for someone like me, I'm sure for her too, it's not an easy. It no. hurts. It's hard to talk about death. It doesn't matter if it's the death of my worst enemy or the death of someone that really matters to me. Death is still hard. I mean, I will say this though, at the end of the day, why the Titan went viral is because they were doing something actually amazing, mm -hmm. um, stupid, but amazing. And they piggybacked on the viral story of the Titanic, where they had at least 1,500 deaths. Now there's five more down there. And, you know, for those of you who are upset that the media didn't cover the 700 as much as the 5, well, no, the media covered the 1,505 more than the 700. Mm -hmm. She's so, right. I mean, that's, that's really why, if we're going to get down to it, it's because of the original story of the Titanic, not because of the Titan. No. So we are going to end the video here as always. Thank you so, so, so very much for watching. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. We can't see the thumbs down button, so maybe stop pushing it. Smash that subscribe button down below. We are actually starting to trend. According to Social Blade, all channels tanked. Let's talk about Social Blade more. Watch the video at the end. Watch it, watch it, watch it, because you know you want to, even if you've already seen it. Give that bell a big ring to indicate that you want to be updated whenever we post videos. Right now, our only two videos a week are every Wednesday and Saturday at 11 a.m. Central, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But we also have a second channel entitled Adventure with the Gala Fam. Over there, you're going to see more lifestyle videos. We'll tell you more about who we are as people. You'll see the Gala Daughter. You'll celebrate holidays with us. It's going to be amazing. Go subscribe to Adventures with the Gala Fam because you're going to find something you like. We also have a podcast that is going to be actually returning within probably the next week or so entitled Gabby with the Gala Sisters, which is a podcast on movies and TV. But of course, we also have our second regular podcast that we also have. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to Mr. and Ms. Crazy Wrestling Family featuring the host, the one and the only boyfriend of each of the Gala Sisters, MCK. If he were here, he'd tell you to heat up the stove and our microwave and let you eat and make you eat his feet. And of course, DMC will give it to you. If you know, you know. If you don't know, who cares? I don't. That podcast drops the Thursday before a professional wrestling pay-per-view. We've got all this information in the description box below. Look through there. You know you find something that you like. Um, we design merch. It's Pride Month. Buy our asexual shirts. If you're aces like us, we, you know, we do everything here by ourselves. So if you support our work and you want to help our little groundwork movement here, then you can buy us a coffee or donate through PayPal or buy us super thanks. But don't feel like you have to. Please don't go broke doing it. And yes, 
You know, um, we filmed this after door dashing Uber Eats, driving around downtown like crazy. That's why we look a little frazzled more than you guys are used to. And it's also hot. But yeah, that's why it's nice to have MCK here with us, our boyfriend. Because, um, in the city it's not exactly safe, so it's a lot safer having him here. And also we just all, you know, get along and it's fun. Yes, thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you again soon. Love and share. Bye! Bye!